Hello all and welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about the different types of iron supplements as well as I'm going to talk about this fish and the pros and cons. So if you have watched any of my other videos you'll know that I've been suffering from hair loss and iron deficiency for about the past 20 years uh, and I'm currently working on increasing my iron stores. So the first thing I want to mention is that in order to compare the different types of iron you have to compare the elemental iron. So you can't take a look at the weight of the pill. You actually have to read the bottle to see what the weight of the elemental iron is. So also, it does not tell you how much iron you'll actually absorb from the pills because each type of iron has a little bit of a different absorption rate and some iron is more affected by the foods that you eat than others. So the most common types of iron supplements are the ferrous salts. There are three of them that are commonly used. The first is ferrous sulfate. So this is one of the most widely used supplements, uh, likely due to it being one of the cheapest forms. Uh, the downside is, is that it has a high rate of gastric side effects. So I found that it caused the most uh, constipation and upset stomach. Um, so some even find that they have nausea and vomiting associated with ferrous sulfate. Um, this can be reduced by taking the supplement with food, but that actually sometimes reduces the bioavailability, so, um, which is the amount of iron that you actually absorb uh, from the pill. Um, it's also the most toxic form, which generally isn't uh, too much of a concern um, unless there is a risk of children getting a hold of the pills, so uh, be sure to always store your iron out of the reach of children. The second type is another of the ferrous salts, ferrous gluconate. So this is considered to be a bit more gentle on the stomach, but the elemental iron is usually less per pill, which could explain uh, why it's a little bit more gentle. So most studies have actually not shown a significant difference between ferrous sulfate and ferrous gluconate with the same dose. Um, however, of the salts, ferrous gluconate is the most affected by foods that you take with it, that you eat with it. So you will absorb less of this type if you uh, usually take your iron with food. Um, so ferrous gluconate is also available in liquid form. Uh, one of them is called Floridix, which I find is actually quite expensive for the amount of iron that you actually get. And I did try it. I didn't really tolerate it very well. Um, to me, it was, it was like drinking grape flavored uh, blood. It wasn't, wasn't a really good taste. Uh, for me and it also has the ability to stain your teeth because it is a pretty dark liquid so I did buy it once um, but I didn't actually end up finishing the bottle just because of the issues uh, with um, with the taste. The third ferrous salt is ferrous fumarate. I don't have as much experience with this one because I didn't really take this one for long um, but it's supposed to be more gentle on the stomach than ferrous sulfate and about the same price as ferrous gluconate. So you might want to look into that one as well. Um, so next is my personal favorite, which is ferrous bisglycinate, which is a type of amino acid chelate. So it is far superior to the other types as it is much more gentle on your digestion and it has less interaction with foods that you eat. Compared to the other types of supplements, ferrous bisglycinate chelate has a much lower incidence of gastrointestinal issues, but you can still get constipated if you don't drink enough water. So I, I find virtually no symptoms as long as you stay hydrated. Uh, the other advantage is that it's much less affected by inhibitors, which are the foods that decrease the absorption if you eat uh, the foods the same time as you take the supplements. So if you do happen to take your supplement with food, um, with ferrous bisglycinate, you would absorb about four times more iron than if you would take the food with uh, ferrous sulfate. So, uh, but as I said, it's best to just take it on an empty stomach uh, or with a citrus fruit, which is what I usually do. So the only downside to this type of iron is that it's a little bit more expensive, um, but I order mine from the United States um, in generic form, so it's actually uh, pretty cheap. And lastly is the fish that I was going to talk about. Here it is. So it's made by a company called Lucky Iron Fish. And essentially you boil it in a liter of water for about 10 minutes and it fortifies the water with about four to seven milligrams of elemental iron. So I usually boil up about one and a half liters uh, each night. And then by the morning it's cooled down and I could drink that water throughout the day. I really love this company because firstly it's a Canadian company 
and second, they're dedicated to solving the worldwide anemia and iron deficiency issue. And also for every fish sold, they actually donate one to a family in need, which I think is great. Uh, so in summary, I highly recommend ferrous bisglycinate chelate. I currently take 18 milligrams twice per day. Um, it's also available in a larger dosage. However, I find that I, it's easier on my stomach uh, to take two to three of the 18 milligrams instead of the one larger dose. Um, so if you can't find ferrous bisglycinate, uh, you could look at ferrous gluconate. Um, preferably smaller doses again and more frequently on an empty stomach would be uh, the best for absorption. I would stay away from ferrous sulfate unless you have a really strong stomach. And here's the disclaimer, so I'm not a medical professional and this information is what I have learned in my own research and is not medical advice. And more importantly, please don't begin any form of iron supplementation until you've had your ferritin levels checked by your doctor. Um, just because having too much iron in your body is uh, not good and can actually be fatal. So you do not want your ferritin levels to be higher than 120. So I hope this helps you and please have a look at my other videos on this topic and thank you.